Well, believe it or not, fall is here. I can just feel it in the air, and you know what that means. The fall holiday season is underway, or just about to be. And this week, Jewish people all over the world are getting ready to celebrate Rosh Hashanah. And here with me to kick off the holiday is Nate Strauss from the Michigan State University Hillel. So thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. For those of us who are unfamiliar with the holiday, what is the holiday all about? Yeah, absolutely. So in Judaism, um, the new year, the actual you know day that the year changes, is Rosh Hashanah. So the translation of Rosh Hashanah means the head of the year. Um, and so we actually don't follow the same new year as um, you know January 1st or, or December 31st for New Year's Eve. But instead, Rosh Hashanah is an opportunity to um, determine you know which what's the new Jewish year. And so actually, even though it's 2023, um, the Jewish year, it's turning 5 5,784, um, which is really interesting to think about just sort of how time has been kept and how time has been recorded, and then also how this holiday has kept um, kind of celebrations of the new year for such a long time. What are some of those traditions? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a couple like kind of typical ones. So people are going to services um, for, to celebrate the holiday and um, and services for Rosh Hashanah are very um, done up. They're, they're much more special, much more holy than I would say a normal service would be um, to the point where even rabbis who are leading the service are dressed in specific clothes um, to abide with the holiday. So we have services. A lot of people will also do communal meals or family dinners together as well. Um, but the real true like way to celebrate is actually to eat an apple um, and also dip it in honey and that signifies having a sweet new year. Um, apples are, are in season when Rosh Hashanah happens every year so oftentimes that's why we eat them um, but also because they're sweet and then the honey really represents that true sweetness and adding the sweetness into the new year. Is there a specific apple you like to dip yours in or is this a personal preference? I'd say personal preference my favorite apple is a honey crisp apple. Um, is that what these are? There <laughs> yeah. you go. A really fun tradition actually that my family would always do is um, traditionally you start with so on on the uh, first day of Rosh Hashanah you go to services um, and then there's sort of a break because whether that's you're waiting for dinner that night or um, you know a kid is out of school for the day which is always very exciting my family would always go uh, apple picking together and then we would use the apples we picked for the dinner that night um, so locations would always change but it was always really fun to do that now students have just come back to school and you know it's the first holiday of the year away from their parents and there isn't a really big fall break yeah. so a lot will be on campus but you guys are always you know a pillar in that community so you know what are some of those resources available for students this upcoming holiday? Yeah, so a couple different offerings that we're providing. Um, we are having full services, full dinners for students and for community members as well. And we're actually bringing in a rabbinic student, someone who's just, uh, training to be a rabbi, awesome. to lead all of our services. Um, really excited to have him join us. And then our staff and our student leaders that work with us, we're all planning exciting things. So whether that is um, tabling on campus with apples and honey, which we've been doing the week before Rosh Hashanah, um, or or even just like texting people and inviting them to come to dinner. Um, we're offering all these different opportunities. The other piece of all of this too is that luckily for Rosh Hashanah this year, uh, it falls over a weekend. Um, and we'll talk about Yom Kippur, but Yom Kippur, the next holiday, actually falls on a Monday. And so we're also starting to, you know, helping students advocate to their faculty members, their professors, if they need to take time off of, of school from class to be able to celebrate the holiday. because. The interesting thing about these holidays is even though in different religions there are different times of year where like the most religious, the most important holidays happen, this is our time. For those of us who don't celebrate these holidays, how can we help our Jewish friends who do celebrate have a better experience and a better holiday all around? This is a really awesome opportunity to, to say like, oh, I heard about this, I heard about this holiday. Even if I don't know if a friend is Jewish, I don't know if someone in my community is Jewish, like I'm not gonna schedule something huge yeah. on this day. All right, well thank you so much and yeah. I guess we'll do the honors of saying Happy Rosh Hashanah. Well, thank you, Claudia and Nate. We have our honey and our apple for the tradition. I'm yes, going to dip do. them in. Cheers to a beautiful new year, That's Nicole. right, sweet with the honey. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very, mm -hmm. very good. So happy? Rosh Hashanah. I'm not double dipping. Oh, <laughs> there you go.